Hello everyone. In this lab, we are going to complete two tasks. The first task, password reset. Second uh, task, password crack. Password reset. We don't know the password, then we want to change it. This means uh, password reset. Password crack. Again, we forgot the password, but we want to find it. So we can also create a password recovery. The lab platform, we will use Windows 10 or Windows Server 2019 virtual machine. If you don't have, please create, create one. And in the virtual machine, create a test account with a login password following this demo or this if you don't know how to do it. And I suppose the test account forgot his or her login password referring, you may refer to this demo or this demo to reset his or her password with a system installation CD or maintenance DVD or rescue DVD. And in this demo, I will use a Heron, Heron's boot CD. That is a Heron's boot CD we have used before. And you can see in this uh, security, uh, here, security password, there's an anti password edit. You can boot your virtual machine with this Heron CD and add it for the user's password. In the next task, uh, password crack, you may follow this demo and I will demonstrate you how to use this demo to, uh, to complete this uh, task too. Here, this demo is from the SAMS class with a project Kraken Windows uh, password hashes with a hash cat. You may use a hash cat or K and able, I will demonstrate both. Okay, first let's uh, reset the Windows login password and use our Windows uh, 2019. For Windows 10, yeah, the procedure is identical. First, we need to uh, insert the Hadron's boot CD here, I want to put it here. You may choose the disk file. Here you see the Hadron CDPE. Okay, now it's inserted in this uh, virtual optical drive that I can boot from this uh, optical drive. Start it. Press the any key to boot from CD or DVD. I just press the enter. So the Hiram Sport CD put it up. If you open this uh, file in Explorer, you will see there are several disks. System reserved C boot X. These two are generated by this uh, Hiram Boot CD, and you also see it inserted in this optical drive. And this lo local disk is the disk I installed Windows uh, 2019. I installed on this disk. So if you want to uh, reset the password, it will ask which disk you are going to choose. We will choose disk, C, disk D. All those uh, tools provided by this uh, Hiram boot CD is in this uh, all programs. Come to the security password. I would like to choose this uh, NT password edit. For password recovery, you may like to try this uh, base soft password recovery. 
you can check it. Check it and uh, use a manual to use it. Here I use a NT password edit to reset all the password. Here you can see uh, those uh, passwords are saved as a hash in this uh, same file. So we pay attention here, use disk D. Disk D is the Windows uh, 2019 installed. So you click open. Now you will see in my uh, Windows 2019, I have uh, several users, administrator, guest, geos, and a test. So suppose I want to change the or reset the password or geos. Double click. Here you can double click, it does not open automatically. You create this one, change the password. And then you can supply a new password. I would like to type a simple password, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you click OK. And save changes. Click exit. That's it. Reset password with these tools are quite simple. Now we shut down this Helen CD. You see uh, task one is completed. Password reset. The task is uh, completed. I now uh, remove this uh, Helen CD. Remove this disk from virtual drive. You see it becomes empty. Now I can boot up into uh, Windows 2019. Uh, here are the users. You can see I reset Jill's password. That is password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, now I would like to log out and log in as a administrator to complete the second task. Password recovery. I log in as the administrat administrator. In this class, uh, in this second uh, task, we will follow this uh, demo, Sam's class dot info. Here, this pro project provided by Sam's class. Project trail cracking windows password hashes with a hash cat. The first step: extract extract the windows password hashes. So here it uh, provides another way using command prompt to create a user, test user. Since we already had a user, so we don't need to do it again. And uh, 7-zip I already installed. Now I want to download and install this uh, can and able. Can and able can, can use for extract, extracting the Windows hashes it can also be used to crack the password. We will save link as. Okay, I would like to say saved on my ideas 352 lab trail, this folder. I saved it there. And the password for this zip file, 
And the, here is you see the same. The go to the folder. Right click, use 7-zip, extract here. The password is same. You need to pay attention here. By default, the Windows 10 or Windows 2019 the virus threat protection, it will find it's a threat because it can be used to crack Windows password. So we need to change this uh, settings. Otherwise, your key and able will be deleted. So how do we change the settings? Virus and threat protection, here manage uh, settings, real-time protection turn off. You see that a uh, setup file is uh, deleted by that uh, antivirus. Now I turn uh, that real-time protection off. Make sure here again, password same. Now this time, you see there is no notification show up. We can top click and install K and Able. Tell you all default options. And I don't install this WinP cap. Okay, can Ava is installed. And on the desktop, you can see can Ava is shown here. Now the next step, we're going to install this WinP cap. And for that antivirus for Windows 10, you need to follow this one to turn off the real-time protection. All right, now we are going to download and install this WinP cap. This is the version is the same. So I download this executable file. Here you see I already downloaded once. So just click it and install it. Shows all the default uh, options. Okay, it's so finished. Now we can use this key and able to extract the Windows login password hashes and crack it. This guide is very clear and easy to follow. Now we double click, run it. Just say the Windows firewall is enabled. Some kinds of feature will not work. Crack is okay. Choose cracker because we are going to crack password. Actually, you can see uh, because I already uh, practice it, so you can see all this stuff are here. Remove all them. Right click. We want to add add to list. Insert the hashes. The import the hashes from local system. Now they are all in, imported, and you can see the anti hashes uh, shown here. L A L M hash is obsolete, so it's, you don't need to uh, pay attention to this one. They are used for all the versions when Windows. Now you see uh, this is Jules with the hash, and you want to see the guest hash is the same as this uh, admin's hash, which means the the password are the same. Here is a Joe's, here is a test uh, user account. Now, with a key and able, we can also crack the password. You right click and use a dictionary attack. You may try a brute force attack, crypto analysis attack, 
if you want to here I just demonstrate the dictionary attack, which is a quicker. I need to supply a word list and we need to choose the NTLM hashes. Here, uh, you need to supply a word list. A good way is to search a popular password list. Here you can search popular password list. I would like to choose this uh, 10K or 10 million password list. Dictionary attack, the benefit is uh, is quicker, but the disadvantage is that if the password is not inside this list, then you cannot crack, you cannot recover the password. I click the door and uh, then control A, select all the possible password. I do not want to put just the 10 million popular password. Control C, then go to the folder here. I create a text file. Let's call it top 10M. And I paste, control V, paste all the popular password here and save it. Now you can right click, add the word dictionary, add to list, and choose this top 10m.txt, and click start. You see it's quite quick, so with the seconds, and it says the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, for this uh, hash. Okay, this one is a test user account is a correct. For this geos, I put one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight during the password reset. So you can right click and use dictionary attack again and click start. Use this uh, top 10 media uh, password. Here you see correct and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For this administrator, it has the same password as this guest. Guest, you see the hash is the same. So use dictionary attack again. Start. You see the password is this one, password. Okay, now we complete the task too. Right? And I, want, I also want to demonstrate how to use this uh, use hashcat to crack this password. Here you may go through this uh, guide to understand password hashes even we have discussed. Even though we have discussed in, uh, during the lecture, you can go through this one for a refresh. Here yeah, I wanted to turn off, but it, you see uh, it uh, off the real time protocol is turned off. But uh, now you see there's still some background protection and it's removed. So, how we is it better we turn off all this uh, protection during this lab? And you see the, the can and the apple is removed. So now I want to use this uh, hash cat. For hash cat, up to 3.0, you don't want to run in a virtual machine anymore. And we will use uh, hash 2.0. For those uh, latest uh, hash cat, you need also uh, settings menu, the hardware, you need a GPU. If you want to use CPU, you need to install OpenCL. You can check hash cat official website. Here we use this uh, old version hash cat. So link has, 
I saved under this uh, lab trail. Then I can uh, extract here. Oh, this uh, is hashcat. You can see dot exe is executable files for Windows and this dot bin is executable files for Linux. So here we use this uh, hashcat dash command line 64 dot uh, exe or this is two dot exe. Now, since our K and Ava is removed, so let's install it again. I didn't save that hash. Here that hash is, since I use the same hashes, let's just copy this hash. And let's say, uh, oh, the hash is not listed here. Okay, we need to do it again to to get the hash. I set up this can enable again. Don't install. Okay, now it's done. I'll click uh, in the crack, you see they are still here. Now let's uh, right click to export the hashes. So let's save it as a hash.txt. And when you check the content of this hash.txt, you can see these are the hashes here, the last part of the hashes. Let's uh, copy this hash and uh, crack this hash. Create uh, an, another text file. Or you just remove all this, uh, this part and leave that hash. Control S, save it. All right, now you press Shift key and press right click. Open this PowerShell windows here. Then you can just run this uh, command hash cat to crack the password. Here are the explanation and you can check this explanation. Here, dash M 1000 in the Windows NT hash is a format dash A0 and use dictionary attack and put in the output in the file when pass one.txt and remove each hash as it's found so you can crack many caches. And uh, getting hashes from winl.hash, this is the file save all the hashes and use a password dictionary. Here it looks like that a head hash. We can use provide all those hashes. Let's uh, provide all these hashes. We save it as a hashes.txt. Okay, now you, you can just copy those uh, different hashes. Can you see? Copy it and paste it in this uh, hash.txt.
we still have another hash here. Okay, save it, control S, save it. Okay, now we want to crack the hash.txt to find the password. We just get the command like this here. So in our command window, because there are hash, hash cat, we use that uh, exe file. Here is demonstrated under Linux, so it is used bin. Now specify the hash format dash a zero dictionary attack dash o save the password. We use this password txt to hold all the password we covered. Dash dash remove if a hash a password is recovered, then we remove that hash. Yeah, hash.txt, we save all these hashes in this hash.txt. Now that uh, this word list, we don't use this locku.txt, we use our top 10m.txt. And then we press enter. Okay, you can see uh, recover three out of one hashes is recovered. And uh, we still have one is not recovered, which means it's a password is not inside that uh, dictionary dictionary or that password list, the top 10m.txt. Here we save the password in this pass.txt. You open it, you can see the password for this hash. Right? Here, you can see exactly the same result as we use this can and able to recover the password. So that one is not recoverable. Uh, which one is not recovered? We can compare the hashes. Is this one, this one is not recovered. And the one not recovered is uh, this one, default account. I think I didn't set, set a password for this one. The default account. And you also see here this uh, it only means that the password is not inside a uh, top 10 password. You may uh, try this uh, lock you. This is a large file. You can find it online. Actually, I also put its link in our code container website. If you want to use the lock you, for the list. Password list. There you can see uh, here it is. It's quite huge. Only one megabytes. Lots of password are, are inside. Okay, this is a task tool. We complete 